Emily tries hypnotherapy and the results are shocking. And as Mona would say, Spencer is off her A-game. Heather here to talk about last night's Pretty Little Liars, so if you haven't seen Dead to Me yet, this is your official spoiler alert. Mona knows just how to kick a girl when she's down, and she's not wasting any time getting under Spencer's skin. Enough with the mind games already. But seriously, I'm feeling super mixed emotions about the way Spencer is acting lately. I know she's hurting, but come on, just tell the girls what's going on already. Tell them that Toby is an A. Spencer is hell-bent on finding out where that key leads to, and of course it leads to A's new lair, but she's just a little too late. <sighs> Arya's had her fair share of heartbreak as well. I don't know if sneaking into Ezra's apartment to water the plants is the best way to cope, but I hope he comes back soon. I miss him already. At least we have Ezra's brother Wesley to look at in the meantime. Apparently Ezra wasn't the only one who wanted to escape his overbearing mother. Looks like Wesley will be squatting at his brother's place for a while, and I'm okay with that. But Ezra may not be the only one with an estranged relative in town. Hannah and Caleb go to his childhood home to look through some old memorabilia. By the way, are overalls really back in style? Anyways, needless to say, they didn't find much in the way of keepsakes, but they may have found Caleb's real father. At least, I think that's what Hannah was hinting at. Please let me know if I'm totally off base here, but could Uncle Jamie actually be Father Jamie? And finally, Emily probably has the most important breakthrough of the night. During her hypnotherapy session, she has a case of mistaken flashback. She thinks she killed Allie, but she was really remembering the night she was brought to Allie's grave when the body was dug up, and it was this mysterious blonde girl who took her. This blonde bitch also happens to be the one calling the shots for the A-team. So who is this mysterious blonde? Could it be Cece? Leave your thoughts and theories in the comments, and I'll see you next week.